Hey guys, Apro here and today's video is about how to improve MacBook Pro yearly 2011 video card. So as you know, uh, MacBook Pro yearly 2011 uh, 30 inch models or 15 inch models has they have uh, Intel HD graphics 3000 uh, GPUs and we are very weak and slow because we use VRAM of your computer um, as you see I can show that uh, my computer had two 384 megabytes I can I can zoom it in and 384 megabytes um, and now I improved my computer and uh, I have now 124 megabytes um, I can show the real photo too but I won't show serial number so let's see 1024 megabytes is here Let's zoom it out. And how to do that? How to improve your MacBook Pro GPU? So first of all, uh, you should uh, have these phrases. Um, as you see, this is a text. Um, I can zoom it in from 384 to 1024 from 384 to uh, 512 and from 512 uh, to 1 gigabyte uh, you know, 1 gigabyte means 100 1024 megabytes i can solve that okay mm. uh, so the method uh, go to your macbook Enter the secret menu. Okay, let's go to terminal. Okay, I'll put it to the bigger window and it will be easier to show. Okay, now you have your terminal and you have these formulas. Uh, you have to know that uh, if you are on 4 gigabytes model, um, as I am, um, where it is, where is that photos? Oh, here it is. Okay. Um, I am on four gigabytes model and uh, it is a very interesting thing because uh, if you have eight gigabytes, you'll get 512 megabytes a GPU. Uh, I can show it on Google uh, and uh, can do it now as you see you have macbook pro early uh, 2011 30 inch model and here you have 8 gigabytes of ram and 512 megabytes gpu but you get a higher performance of gpu only when you upgrade your ram so mine is 4 gigabytes model and uh, has 1024 megabytes of GPU of course it uses VRAM and uh, if you get 8 gigs of RAM or 16 gigs of RAM it will be much better to use your computer with it uh, but the main idea you understand and uh, uh, with 4 gigs of RAM the maximum performance uh, on uh, 1024 1, megabytes is about 512 megabytes so you should improve your RAM if you want to have a bigger performance of your GPU um, as you see uh, my model was uh, 384 megabytes so I wanted to improve it to 1024 um, I used this code but if you have 8 gigs of RAM or you want to improve your 4 gigabyte uh, gigabyte of RAM computer to 
use it at maximum performance as I said 512 megabytes so you should to do this code uh, I plan to upgrade it to 8 gigabytes so that I made 1024 um, as you see the, the, here is uh, 512 megabytes to 1024 megabytes so if you have 8 gigs of RAM you can you should use this um, these uh, operations will be uploaded to video description and let's begin so uh, as you see you have this row and you should to copy it and paste the terminal you'll hit enter later after that you should to copy and paste this row oh damn I I entered that no oh, never mind paste that um that row means that you make a backup of your files to be fully granted that if you fail you will fix that problem very fast and smoothly and okay uh, after you do your backup you should select folder uh, the best is to the loads um, here you get all your files um, here will be one file with your backup later you should to copy this row and this row is the main thing which changes your GPU number and improves your uh, VRAM usage you should to copy and paste here um, of course you see that uh, I should enter password to make a backup of my files but uh, I won't do that because uh, I don't need this anymore so you should uh, paste this row into the terminal I can show it here for example you paste it here oh I can't paste I should enter password so I can uh, restart the terminal uh, I paste it here um, this is the main row which or the main row which changes number and uh, the last operation is sudo touch sl extensions so you should uh, copy it too I can show copy and here uh, I want to hit enter because my configuration will be changed and computer will crash because my number is now different not 384 um, as you see uh, I hit the last operation of course you should do it on one window not like me uh, I turn off this window only because I I don't want to crash my system and hit enter to enter the other row so the main code should like should look like this on your console of course you should do it uh, row by row so first you should copy this row hit enter then copy this row hit enter this row hit enter and then this row hit enter uh, it works the same with all models of uh, IntelliJ Graphics 3000 um, as you see uh, and with 512 megabytes model with 8 gigabytes of RAM and 384 to 512 megabytes or 384 to 1 gigabyte of your GPU and of course uh, I can restart my computer to prove that uh, I really have that GPU which I showed you um, and I'll do that but you should wait a bit I won't skip all the process of rebooting because uh, you can think that I made the hack again when I uh, restarted my computer and when I skipped the video so I'll show all the process I see my MacBook restarted and uh, it loads now
and okay we are almost here computer will be booted soon and as you can see interface uploads and it's booted so um, let's go to another screen um, Ailton press the app logo of course after reboot it should be lag a bit so don't be scared if your computer will lag after your GPU performance is changed Now you can just message for me. And okay. And as you see, OS X use my 2.3 GHz Intel Core i5 and Intel G Graphics 3000 1 GB graphics card on this Mago Pro. So thank you for watching uh, please like and of course hit the subscribe button it will be very nice from you if this video helped you um, please write the comments below and uh, ask if you need a help uh, if you have any problems please uh, ask for a help too I'll answer for your questions with a pleasure and uh, for this time I can say goodbye, see you next time.